Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on while you're down there, and also hit the thumbs up button because it really does help me out. Now let's address the elephant in the room. I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> I don't know why I'm wearing makeup. I'm not going anywhere today. I'm not doing anything. I'm filming videos because I'm going away for a week. To my grandparents and I don't want to be filming every day while I'm there. So yeah, that's what's going on. Today we're talking about my experience in Sussex County Hospital. Where do we begin? So let me talk a bit about why I was admitted there. I took an overdose of glycolazide and if you don't know what glycolazide is, it's for your blood sugar it lowers your blood sugar very fast I'm on it because I'm diabetic if you want more information on my diabetic thing I'll link the playlist up there um, I've been diagnosed diabetic for four years now I think don't hold me to it um, basically I overdosed on glycolazide and when the crisis team came to see me when I was living in Brighton they could see something was wrong with me, I was really shaky so they phoned an ambulance and it was only then that I actually opened up and said hey I've overdosed now had I left that untreated I would not be standing here right now it would have killed me please realise that this is this was one of my most serious attempts of my life but I got taken to Sussex County Hospital and while I was there, I didn't want treatment. So they detained me under the Mental Capacity Act, which I'll put on screen here. And basically that meant I had no right to argue with the treatment they could treat me against my will. They tried to sedate me with midazolam. It didn't work. <laughs> midazolam is not as good as lorazepam as they learned. It, it is a bit of a blur for me, but I'm trying to break down what happened. Basically I got up and tried to leave, so they called security and six security guards picked me up because I sat on the floor when they tried to grab my arms. I sat on the floor, good old me, making everyone's life easy and they basically got me picked up and took me back to the bed and then they leant over my legs hold held up my arms and I couldn't move and I was pissed off because I wanted to leave I didn't want treatment I wanted to die I see why they did it now but I then got the detained under the mental health act under section 5-2 I'll put that on screen for you if you want to know what that is um, I was then transferred round to AAU which is Ambulatory Assessment Unit and I was on one to one with security one to one with HCA one to one with a health mental mental health care assistant. So I had three people watching me. They did give me a lorazepam tablet form when it was the night time and I took it because I wanted to sleep. For me personally, I feel like they restrained me a lot for no reason it was very forceful all the treatment I had was forced on me now I don't remember having the mental health act assessment or getting put on the section 2 it's just not in my memory I don't know why I just can't remember it and honestly I just I don't know it's just a bit weird normally my memory is pretty good when it comes to stuff like this but I guess it just shows how well I was really because 
for the life of me, I can't remember. Eventually I was taken up to a ward while I waited for a mental health bed. And I got hold of a metal fork and I, sn I snapped it to try and cut my throat with. Don't do that. And it was easily the most painful decision I made because I got restrained and then I had to use my, f I was only allowed to have finger food. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. And what fun. I did appeal my section two and I lost the appeal, but I tried. It's just everyone around me was saying how I needed to be in hospital. Even the nurse that was supposed to be on my side, my solicitor, my side. Nope, they all wanted me to be in hospital. And as you know, that later led to a section three and I was on a section three for a year, which sucks. But I was restrained an awful lot while I was in Sussex County Hospital and it left a lot of bruises and I was very upset. I wasn't happy. I was frustrated because all I wanted to do was die and I couldn't. Now I do have some regrets now because I'm happy to be alive now. But honestly, the way I was treated just wasn't nice. I couldn't even get to the toilet on my own and that just really got to me. But yeah, I would say my experience was probably one of the best experiences I've had in hospital because they Literally got, they literally got me sectioned to an admission that saved my life. And I have made videos talking about how bad I was treated when I was in the psych ward, but that admission did save my life. Yes, last year I did make two attempts on my life, but I haven't made an attempt on my life in over a year, which is amazing for me because I was making them every week sometimes multiple times a week and chances are if I had stayed in London instead of moving to Brighton I probably wouldn't be here now but yeah that's all I've got for this video thank you for watching and if you're new subscribe I don't always have makeup on <laughs> thanks for watching Peace.